Did you know that Birmingham in the UK has more canals than Venice? When I first started out, I was looking for places that had good acoustics and I was playing unplugged. The city was just too noisy to be heard, so I found a great stretch of canal that connected two very lively areas of Birmingham City, where a lot of bars and restaurants were. So I assumed that weekend evenings in the summer, there would be many buskers in that place because of the amount of people out for a good time, but I was wrong. I found a couple of spots that both had amazing acoustics and as the canal towpath wasn't very wide, people had to walk past me so they couldn't give me a wide berth. So it acted like a kind of a funnel. Now the amount of people walking this stretch may have been a few hundred, but many of them returned as they went out for a meal in one area and then onto a bar in the other and vice versa. So they may not have tipped the first time, but they usually did the second time. So during the warmer, lighter months, I would position myself in those two spots and would often make really good tips. The local pub near one of the spots started to give me free drinks as well so as they could see that I was attracting people uh, to sit outside the place and entertaining them essentially for free. Why am I telling you all this? The point I'm making is that ideally you'll be looking for somewhere that has the, that is the optimum location. So there'll be enough people to generate some income, the right time of day that people are most receptive. Not too near residents, houses who may complain, and not too near any other sort of competition. Now that could be other buskers, or it could be uh, maybe street people, people who are begging. Uh, this can be a problem really, because if you start playing too near their, uh, what they call their patch, um, they can sometimes get aggressive. Now I've had many encounters with uh, with them, especially when they see how much you, you've made in your case. They can often get very envious. So I would often just leave a small amount of money, a small amount of cash in the case and pocket any notes that anyone gave me, and which is another good reason as well to have an online payment system, an app or a card. I would avoid places directly outside of train, metro stations and people there uh, are too much of in a hurry to really listen to. You might have seen the famous experiment that was done with Joshua Bell, who is one of the best violinists in the world. He played on the Washington subway for 43 minutes during rush hour. 1100 people passed him by and only seven stopped for more than a minute to listen. He made $43 and his concert tickets are usually $100. Anyway, the point that was that was trying to be made was that people are just too busy to take the time to appreciate great art. But really what was going on was that Joshua was simply in the wrong location. And classical music isn't that popular with general rush hour audience. Now, if he'd played in a place where people go to eat, drink and browse and be entertained, he would have no doubt stopped the street as people would have recognized him and given him the time of day as well as a lot more tips. So the message is there, find the context for your act, your style of music will determine where is best. So if like Joshua you are a classical musician, a classical act, a solo violinist or an opera singer for example, so go to a higher quality area near a park with more space than a busy high street with lots of tourists who are leisurely walking around. So that would be the optimal place. If, for example, you're a vocal act and you're singing to upbeat backing tracks, then playing near pubs and clubs where young people gather to party at the weekends would probably be a good place for you to play. That would be your optimum location and your optimum time. Otherwise, it's a case of experimentation. So if you're just a general covers act, a bit like me, uh, a good rule of thumb if you're playing on a high street is to find McDonald's. Why? Well, they have already done the market research as to where the most people are going to be, so just set up nearby. So there should ideally be steady foot flow and usually some benches around for people to sit and eat whilst they're listening to you. So I found that trying to engage with people who are sitting down and listening is a good move as it creates the law of reciprocity. So it goes like this, so if you ask someone a question to which the answer is likely to be yes, like are you out shopping today? or do you like music? It's just an opening gambit. Ask them their name and you can dedicate the next song to them using their name. They may, feel, they may then feel obliged to reciprocate, not every time of course, but it's just again about the three C's connecting and communicating and converting. If it's sunny then resist the temptation to be in the sun. Try and be in some shade as playing in the heat can be exhausting as well as hard on your equipment, on your guitar strings may go out of tune often. 
your hands might get very sweaty and hot and then your fingertips can get quite sore a lot quicker and of course unless you have a hat and sunglasses and sun cream on it can also be damaging to your skin also when I'm looking for a location out on the street I like to play preferably for me with a back with my back to a wall it just makes me feel more secure especially if you're playing on a busy street it can reduce exposure to unexpected incidents I also try I like to try and find a bit of overhead cover so that helps uh, if it starts to rain you can still keep playing and sometimes this is enough to encourage people to tip you try to play as many upbeat songs as you can when it rains which cheers people up and makes them laugh also when you're out looking for a, a a spot to busk be sure that it's public land that you're playing on now generally high streets are public land but if you want to find out the quickest way is to find out anywhere is private or public is to set up and play so within minutes you will be approached by security if you're on private land and then you just say oh, I'm sorry I thought this was private land uh, public land rather it's my first time I played here and then just make sure you move on knowing where you can play and when you can't where you can't play will vary from place to place different cities and towns and different countries even will have different policies on busking which brings us nicely onto our next section which is called know your rights see you on the next video mm -hmm.